Hello, it is I once more, day five of my Mediterranean um, thing. Today, right, today I actually uh, drove quite a long way, about 200 kilometers, um, and I was a bit disappointed. Somebody told me that um, the south coast, excuse me, I've got a bit of an itch, I've just shaved, um, is un un undeveloped, I think that was the word. Um, but I thought, well, that's nice, because sometimes places can be overdeveloped. Um, so there would be a nice little comparison. Uh, so I, I took a drive. I, I did manage to go and see that lake that I saw yesterday. And I was going to stop in the town and get a coffee, but there was absolutely no parking anywhere. So I forgot that idea and drove on. Because that's what we do in Suffolk. We drive. Um, and then we, uh, we, well, we in the car, we headed down to the um, the south coast to a place called, I have to get this right, Ira, Ira Petra. Um, I was told there was a very old fort there which had a long history and goes back to the 1200s or something. Um, so I thought, well, that'd be a nice day out. And it's got award-winning beaches. Um, so we, uh, I set sail. Well, I drove and um, I arrived there at about 12 o'clock, I suppose. Um, it was the first time, I think, I've ever driven on a road classified as a motorway, but it was only two lanes. So like a normal A road, but it's classified as a motorway. And it's a brilliant road. It's just an utterly brilliant road. This one that goes right from one end of the uh, island to the other. And this bit drops down from Agios Nicolaus to my destination and then it just reverts to a normal country road so yes have to have your wits about you on these roads around here so I got to this place and um, I don't know if it was because it was Sunday but it just felt quite well not dead but certainly sleeping and the buildings were showing signs of wear there was a lot of underdevelopment I would say rather than undeveloped um, there's, there's stuff in progress, but I suppose it gives a better idea of what it's what it's really like on the island away from the tourist areas. It is a kind of a tourist area. Uh, there's lots of cafes on the on the promenade and things like that. Um, so I mean, it wasn't a pleasant by any means. The beaches were very stony, lots of um, sort of stratas of rock even on the beach. So I don't know who awarded them what. Um, and it was cloudy today as well, which probably didn't help things even though it's still quite warm, sort of low, low 20s. And so I made my way to this um, fort. I haven't, well, I have got my guidebook there, but I haven't got time to look it up now. But um, it's supposed to be quite interesting. It's got a lot of history and there's a museum inside and everything. And would you believe it, it's closed for renovation. So it was a bit of a wasted journey. But having said that, the drive was fantastic. The roads through the mountains are dangerous you know those little crosses if you've ever been to france there's lots of crosses by the side of the road and i never knew what they were for and they're to they're like little shrines or thingies for people who are killed on the roads um there are a lot in crete and they're not little crosses they're little shrine like little churches and these are on top of the little churches well not literally on top as well as all the little churches that seem to be on every hill and going down one road I was literally passing one every minute so there's quite a lot of religion here Greek Orthodox I'm guessing one thing that was happening in the town was I think there was a wedding going on because they used to very well regaled um, Greek Orthodox priests were outside doing something and there's lots of well-dressed people around and within five minutes there was a a tirade of car horns coming through the town. So uh, it's similar to France again, when there's a wedding in the village or the town, they make the most of it. They have a really good day out. Didn't get to see any, any bride and groom or anything, but I suspect that was happening. So that's nice. Um, well, that's it really. The, yeah, the roads, some through the mountains, there's clearly some subsidence going on. Um, so, and lots of very sharp bends. They have to take it very easy around some of these corners. But it's so worth it. You're going up and up. My ears actually popped because I was going so high up again um, along the south. And then I basically cut across the whole island um, back to where I'm staying. Um, I kind of got lost. The maps aren't very clear. 
and I can't really see them anyway. So another good day. It was quite tiring because I did drive a lot more than I anticipated. But tomorrow I've got somewhere lined up which is going to be a bit closer. Um, Lucy has updated me on a little a few details of that area, but it has it is somewhere I was going to have a look at anyway. So yes, so I thought I'd do this tonight before I go out to eat because last night I was so stuffed I could barely walk. And I just overblowed everything last night, but the food is just so good, but I really got to cut back because um, I think I might have put on a few pounds already. Um, but hey, I'm on holiday. I can always work that off. So yes, yeah, so it's been a restful, easy-going day. Little car's been behaving fantastically well. I'm getting about 95 million miles to the gallon. Um, and it's, I've got used to driving on the right-hand side of the road. I'm not going to say it's the wrong side of the road, because over here it is not. It is the correct side of the road. But it's unusual for me, and I'm still looking for the gear, stiff, gear stick thing uh, on the door and the handbrake. But I'm slowly getting used to it. The problem is coming out of junctions. Again, you've got to look left first and then just get your head around. You're actually going to be crossing the road and driving on the right-hand side. But no worries so far. Most drivers are slow. There's a few right up your backside as usual. But they're probably locals just in a hurry. So yes, that's about it. So would I recommend this place, um, Io Petra? Well... I wouldn't go back, put it that way. But it was worth it for the drive. So uh, anyway, I'm off out now to go and hunt down some lamb leftic left left leftico. I think that's what it's called. So I'll bid you good evening and I'll speak soon. I have put pictures up for today. There's not very many because I couldn't really stop anywhere, but there are a few. Okay, enjoy. See you soon.